Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Offert, and this morning what we're going to do is review a little bit or give a little insight as to what we are seeing with thermography versus mammography. Remember, mammography is looking for a lump. We take an x-ray and we need a locator, and that's the benefit of mammography. But that's after, again, five to ten years before they can pick it up. And in thermography, what we're looking for are changes, functional changes. How is my body responding as cancer is starting to develop? Is there signals? And we definitely know that there is. If we look here at this pattern here, uh, I begin to start to what, score certain patterns. Now we can see there's a little more vascularity on the left side here and uh, compared to the right. This is actually what we call a normal vascular pattern. We're starting to see a little more buildup in the vascular pattern here. Uh, I look at the temperature changes. We have a 28.5 and a 29.5. Well, this is a one degree. Now, anything over one degree starts to become suspicious. If it was 2.5 degrees, then it's really suspicious. So, we're just going to start watching this. It doesn't mean that she has breast cancer, but it means that we are going to start watching and monitoring this patient. Uh, we also look at the areola. This is where blood vessels come together, right in the breast there, around the nipple. And if that is 1.5 degrees difference and above, then that again becomes suspicious. So, we have 1.6 degrees. That means just starting to watch. It doesn't mean anything yet, but it's something that we want to be uh, cognizant and watching. Again, we have some more vascularization here. Doesn't mean cancer, could be mastitis, but we want to make sure. So that's why we're looking at functional changes in the breast. We're waiting to see if any of this is going to be developing or not. And we can rule that out simply by um, following up and monitoring her breasts and her functional changes. Now, I could change the palette into a color and we could start to look at whether or not that we have areas of what we call hyperthermia. They're heated up. And the more hotter these temperatures are compared to the left side, then we start to increase the probability or the risk factors. So like we said, TH1 is a low risk, TH5 is a high risk. And I simply start to add up all these different scores according to the patient's presentation. And uh, then we do follow up and monitoring studies. And depending on how high the score is, we may suggest you know, other diagnostic studies to the uh, primary physician. 